How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Team O'Neill. My name is Drew. We're on a little bit of a field trip today. We've left the gravel of the rally school. We're down here at the pavement uh, at New Hampshire Motor Speedway in Loudoun, New Hampshire. We're down here with our drift school. We've made some updates for 2021, uh, both to the program and our fleet of vehicles. So we just wanted to walk you through the fleet of vehicles, what modifications we make, and show you guys the vehicles you guys will be driving if you come out and take a drift school. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the first car we're gonna take a look at are these two cars. These are Infiniti G35s. These cars are mechanically the same as a Nissan 350Z, which makes them a really good platform for us and our different training purposes out here at the Drift School. We want our students to get representative experience uh, in a car that they might actually go out and buy and build and drift. So one of the things we do, like on all of our cars here at the Drift School, we make sure we fit them with good heavy duty recovery points like this. Hopefully this is something we don't need, but it's a really good thing to have. It's just a good insurance policy in case we do, it makes things a lot safer and a lot easier. Um, one of the other things we do on all of our drift cars as well is we do an angle kit. So this one's running a GK Tech angle kit. Uh, one of the reasons we do this is that way if we've got some extra angle on the wheels, uh, you can hold more angle on a drift, right? Pretty self-explanatory. We also do a torsion limited slip diff in these cars. These cars don't come with a limited slip diff from the factory. So just to make sure that we've got both those wheels turning at the same speed while we're drifting, making things a little bit more predictable, we make sure we put a torsion limited slip diff in these cars. So they're a lot of fun, uh, not a whole lot of mods, sticking with that Team O'Neill ethos of do what you can with a stock vehicle, but they're great cars to train on. All right, so moving on from the Infinities, uh, we'll talk about some of our BMWs. For the last couple of years, we've been using E36 Ti platforms. They're great cars, um, but they're getting a little old. Uh, parts are hard to find. They're a little bit harder to, uh, to maintain for us running a fleet of vehicles. We're still going to keep using them, uh, but actually just to illustrate the point, they're actually not here right now. They're out getting fixed. So we've upgraded to uh, one of these. This is an E82 generation BMW 1 series. These cars are a little bit newer. They're easier to get parts for, and they're just easier to maintain in general, but they're still a really, really good platform to drift on, like all these old school BMWs, whether you have an E30 or an E46. They're all really, really good. This particular one is running a CNC71 angle kit. As you can see, it's a pretty rowdy angle kit, right? So this thing's gonna be a huge amount of fun when you guys get out here and start drifting this thing. Uh, the BMWs are really, really good cars to have because they've got a great straight six engine in them. They give a lot of really good feedback to the driver. All the sensations through the steering and the chassis are really, really good. They're very well balanced. They transition really, really nicely. So we really like having them around for that reason. And also too, um, a lot of people in the drift community love drifting these older BMWs. So once again, we want to make sure that we're getting people some good variety of cars that they might actually go out and buy and build and drift. So yeah, these things are a lot of fun. No matter which flavor BMW you got, um, they're good cars to have around. All right, so moving on from the BMW, we're gaining two more cylinders this time. So now we're talking about the Mustangs. These uh, have about 420 horsepower, so we're certainly not wanting for horsepower. Um, the modifications we make on these cars uh, really all pertain to the suspension. The stock suspension setup is really not set up for drifting and that style of driving. So we basically uh, replace everything, springs, shocks, uh, control arms, all that stuff to really get these things dialed in for our purposes out here at the Team O'Neill Drift School. Like all the cars in the Drift School, we do Schroth racing harnesses. Uh, we also do uh, the good Hawk brake pads that uh, bite at lower speeds. Um, so that way we can control the car really, really well, just at the low speed stuff that we're doing around here. Additionally, we also do a hydraulic handbrake on these cars. It makes things a lot easier when you're doing a handbrake initiation to have that hydraulic assist locking up those rear wheels. And we also do Accelera tires. Um, from Tire Streets. These are a really, really good tire made specifically for drifting. So yeah, they, uh, they work really well for our purposes. It's nice to bring a little bit of a muscle car flair to the fleet. So as you can see, we have a lot of variety. All right, so that's the fleet of drift cars. Over our two-day course, you'll drive all of these cars a lot and get a lot of different experience and seat time in all of them. They might look kind of similar, but really they all have their own things that they do well uh, and their own advantages over the other ones. So it's really, really good to get a lot of seat time in all of them, get that variation, which is what we like out here at Team O'Neill. So if you want to come out and take a drift school, visit teamoneal.com, check out our courses, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you out here smoking some tires. Thanks for watching.
Hey, this is Chris Sear, CEO and partner at Team O'Neill. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. If you want to join our community, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about us or book a course, please visit teamoneal.com. We look forward to connecting with you. Oh, my God.